morning, everyone. It's uh, 8.20 on Monday morning, the 22nd of May. This is your free opening comment. It is video 1763. Okay, um, you know, just what you'd expect. Um, Janet Yellen yammering about the debt ceiling, others talking about debt ceiling. Yellen saying now that it's early June uh, for a default. Uh, Meta, formerly Facebook, $1.3 billion um, fine for data transfers from the UK to the US. Ryanair, um, up slightly about 2.1%, based solely on the fact that they successfully uh, hedged on fuel. Um, as I said, up to 11 or 2.1%. Um, O'Leary from uh, Ryanair saying, uh, not exactly um, good news in the hedging by the quote of, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. I don't know if I want to hear that, per se. Uh, MU chips uh, not going to be allowed in China due to, and this is a joke, due to uh, the opportunity of uh, cyber security, only because it goes against their favor. Uh, MU is uh, part of that chips issue. The stock is 6602, that's down 220 or 3.3%. Zim, Z-I-M. Um, this is one that we played on a fairly regular basis, <clears throat> excuse me, um, relative to uh, G-O, G-L, and uh, S-B-L-K, came in with not only a miss, but an actual loss. Uh, the stock is trading 15.95. That's down to $1.56. It's been lower. It's actually pretty much on the high for the day. Um, and ICPT, this is Intercept, um, where uh, HEPA met its endpoint uh, last week. They reversed it one for 20. The last is 15 up $6.00. 15 cents or 70%. The other side of that coin is um, intercept ICPT, same issue, uh, NASH, that's the non alcoholic cirrhosis. Um, as I said, going the other way with a low of 1065, trading pretty much on the high of the day at 1190, but that's still down $1.66 or 12%. Um, as for the pre-opening, Dow up 42, uh, S&P up uh, about 9%. And NASDAQ up about 13 and a half. So um, not a lot of action, not a lot of range. Just kind of a quiet Monday. <clears throat> Excuse me, Neil Kashkari, who is an FOMC voter, um, making the statement this morning that even if they hold off on um, raising rates for the July meeting, that uh, that doesn't mean that they're done. It just means that they are more heavily data dependent and uh, still looking for the numbers. Uh, the uh, biggest one, of course, being uh, next Friday. Today's the 22nd, the week from Friday. Uh, the um, actual... Uh, claims and 
statistics on uh, employment, the payrolls. So we'll have to see what that looks like. Uh, other than that, there's not really much. Up 43 now in the Dow. Uh, S&P is uh, still hanging right around uh, that up five dollars. Uh, HEPA now still moving lower, fourteen thirty four, uh, and fourteen thirty four is uh, pretty ugly actually, um, but it is still up strongly. No, we're not near the seventy percent, but up regardless. Um, as far as the futures the markets, we have. The grains mixed. We have uh, energy also mixed higher in the uh, oil, but only eight cents. Um, looking for a little stabilization there, as I mentioned in last night's letter. Uh, heating oil up, but gasoline and that gas lower. Uh, gold down about six, silver down about. 14 cents, copper down about 4 cents. Uh, the meats are not open yet. The soft cotton up 18 cents, coffee up 65 cents. That it really looks to me like a, a bear trap and that we're going to we're going to see a move back down to the 175 area which is about 8%. Uh, the dollar is down nine cents. Bitcoin and Ethereum essentially unchanged. Bitcoin down a quarter, uh, down twenty-five dollars, uh, and Ethereum up a dollar. Neither particularly impressive moves. And for um, the bonds, bonds barely down, down two ticks. Uh, the ten-year up one tick and uh, the five year up 1.2. So pretty quiet morning, no economic news until tomorrow. And I'll be back later.